delighted to say we're joined by Professor Rajiv Jalan, who's got a big smile on his face because this is huge news. You invented the machine. So if I can ask the basic question, how do you discover something like this and how does it work? So, look, liver failure, when the liver fails, all the organs in the body fail. Uh, what we found nearly 15 years ago, 18 years ago, was this group of people, they were completely well before, mm. and they showed up in the hospital and they died because they had ordinary infections, ordinary trauma, ordinary surgery. And for, these, uh, for the next 10 years, we were trying to understand what this syndrome is. And we defined a new entity. It's called acute on chronic liver failure, which is, which is a new disease condition that we diagnosed, that we defined. It didn't exist before. And for then for the next five years or so, we studied why it happens. And we figured out that when the liver fails, there is accumulation of a lot of nasty substances that come from the gut and as a result of bursting of the liver cells. Liver cells literally burst. And these produce a very severe immunogenic failure. And so we figured out that when these things accumulate, toxins accumulate, they do not allow the liver to regenerate. Right. And so this machine get is literally get rid of all that. Amazing. So the liver starts to regenerate and the patient gets better. This is just extraordinary. I mean, you've defined a condition, an illness, and now you've found a way to treat. How long are you working on this for? 20 years. Of course you were. <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah, this doesn't happen overnight. So it's 20 years. This, is, to get this has to been 20. your life? Yes, of course. Absolutely. And it, one of the amazing things is I was reading that it, it stopped twice as many patients going into organ failure than any other treatment that mm -hmm. is available. Is it the sort of thing, I mean, it obviously works for, for patients with liver problems. Could it actually be rolled out into other organs in the body? Yes, thank you for that. So we, liver failure occurs because of this thing called the cytokine storm, which you might have heard during the COVID world. And so what we're able to deal with is this cytokine storm that is generated by liver failure. And so therefore, yes, it could be repurposed for severe sepsis, for instance, for those patients mm. with very severe COVID infection in the previous life, in patients with these new syndromes that occur from chemotherapy-related multi-organ failure, and so on. So there are multiple uses of this, but we've started with liver disease because I am a hepatologist. This is so this, this will change lives and save lives. When is it going to be available to, to any and everybody in all, in all hospitals? So I think, you know, it'd be fair to say that this is the first trial. Mm. What we have to do is at least one more trial to show that these benefits translate into saving lives, reducing mortality. And that's what we are planning to do now. Do you know what? It's a real pleasure to talk to you today. I can see why you've got that big smile on your face, because this you. must be what it's like to be on the, on the edge of a medical breakthrough. Thank you very much Thank for you. coming in. Mr Rajiv, thank you so much Thank for you. joining us on 5 News.